Did you know that luxurious, expensive silk fabric is made from, well, worm spit? Scientists are watching the way that silkworms wind their cocoons from tiny fibers in their slimy saliva to help them make new materials with biomedical applications. Researchers reporting in ACS's nano letters have mimicked the seemingly simple head bobbing of silkworms to create uniform micro and nanofibers with less equipment than other methods. Nanofibers, for example, have become increasingly attractive for a variety of applications, including wound dressings and flexible electronics. But manufacturing the fibers isn't always easy, especially because they're only a few nanometers thick. That means a few thousand of them, all lined up, would be as wide as a human hair. Most conventional nanofiber spinning methods are complicated or slow, or they produce clumpy fibers. However, one scientist that seems to have solved the problem is the silkworm. This wriggly critter secretes a two-protein solution in its saliva that it continuously pulls into a long, skinny silk thread. The worm then sticks and pulls the single strand repeatedly until it is wrapped in a silk cocoon. People then soften these cocoons and unwind the thread to weave silk textiles. Inspired by the silkworm, Yu Wang, Wei Yang, Zhu Li Fu, and colleagues wanted to design a nanofiber spinning method that could quickly produce continuous uniform strands with minimal equipment. The researchers poked an array of microneedles into a piece of foam soaked with a polyethylene oxide solution, then pulled the needles away in a process called microadhesion guided spinning. As shown here, the process created neat rows of thin threads. But it could be simplified even more by just using the foam's natural roughness as the adhesion points. The researchers soaked two pieces of foam with the polymer solution and simply pulled them apart, easily and instantly creating threads between them. Different types of fibers were created by mimicking the way silkworms move their heads when making silk. Pulling the pieces of foam directly apart resulted in many parallel separate fibers. Swaying or vibrating created cross-linked fibers. And turning the needle array produced a thicker, twisted fiber. To prove just how simple this method is, the researchers even attached the foam onto this remote-controlled toy bus, which produced the fibers as well. Finally, polymer strands were pulled by hand and placed directly on a person's skin to create an instant custom bandage. These fibers also contained an antibiotic to ward off infections. Afterwards, the bandage was easily washed away with water. No sticking here. The researchers say that this work could open up new possibilities for future biomedical applications of nanofibers.